Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a chit chat get ready with me video because um, recently I have been wearing a kind of real warm neutral eye on Instagram like you know is my makeup of the day and a lot of people are asking for tutorial and this is quite similar to a lot of looks I've already done before except using the different like very very warm tone colors so like really really red based bronzes and just colors like that and I want to show you a couple of new products I've got recently so yeah, I'm just going to show you and also I'm going to be using the eyeshadow Copper Ring by MAC because a lot of people have asked me to do a look using it because they, they have it themselves and they really don't know how to kind of use it in an everyday look. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I still have to do like a hair update video. I'm going to be doing a hair update all about extensions video and doing a giveaway as well. So I'm just going to get my hair off my face. If you see the little... Um, links then you know what they are their extensions <laughs> my skin's acting up a little bit you'll have to excuse that i'm very sorry um i'm gonna start off i have decided that this is my favorite primer right now um minus bb cream this is my favorite primer the l'oreal lumi magique base so i need to get more of this and if i had to pick a favorite bb cream you guys know it will always be my Liwali BB cream. Actually I'm going to use my BB cream today just because I haven't used it in a video in a little bit. I've been using this almost every single day just as my makeup but you guys know I love to use this as a primer. So I'm just taking like a squirt. It's a really nasty word. And if you're wondering why I look really brown, I tried fake tanning for the first time in ages and it's really weird because I don't feel like I'm brown because I'm almost the exact same color as I was like when I got paint from Thailand earlier in the year like a couple months ago. Um, so I don't feel tan, but I know I am compared to normal once it fades. I'll be like crap I am white because my skin has faded a lot but Yeah, I'm using what's it called? I can't remember what the fake tan's called. It's a new one. I've never used it before. I might do a video on my favorite fake tanners so that um, You know you guys know what I use because I really don't want to be um, I want to start going out less in the sun like all through summer I was always just tanning, tanning, tanning. I still want to tan, but I really need to just give my skin a bit of a break because I don't want it to be really dried out and wrinkly when I get older. So that was what the BB cream looks like by itself. And if you're new here, BB cream is basically a product which is whitening. And whitening doesn't mean that it's going to bleach your skin or anything like that. Whitening just means it's going to reduce freckles, like, you know, dark spots dark pigmentation on your skin it's going to reduce redness it's going to reduce acne scarring like any imperfections on your skin it's going to help get rid of them and it gives coverage it's got spf it's moisturizing it's like skincare foundation moisturizer all in one you can use it by itself but i like to use it underneath a foundation just so i can use way less foundation and you know still have really good coverage and it makes my makeup last all day long now i'm going to use this foundation today because i haven't showed it to you in a video yet this is the ysl um, tint radiance. My colour is in number four. It's a little bit pale for me, so now that I'm fake tan, it's probably going to be quite pale, but we'll fix it later on with bronzer. First of all, I'm just going to take a little bit of my MAC, what's this called? Pro Longwear Concealer. When I'm pumping it, because the pump's really hard to control, I like to kind of push down on my finger and then my finger kind of stops heaps of the product coming up. So I just get that on my fingers and then just place that underneath. So yeah, this is pretty much, I think I'll call this my go to makeup. Because of the moment, this has been like my everyday makeup. Um, I'm going to put on a little bit more makeup than I normally would though. Like I might do some false lashes. I don't use false lashes on an everyday basis, but I do wear them a lot. Like, a lot. Because I just love the way they look. So you can see you could leave it like that, but it's very pale. So I'm going to take a flat top brush. This is my flat top EXO Beauty, my favourite um, brush to buff in foundation. And the YSL foundation. And then just... Buff that in. I'm going to pat it on and then blend it in afterwards. So yeah, you can see it's a bit pale, especially since I'm fake tanned, but I promise it'll look good by the end of this video. Once it dries, it does go like a shade darker as well, so it looks a lot lighter at the moment than what it'll set to. So if you do buy this, um, like if you're in the store and you're trying it on your hand or whatever, just let it sit on your hand for a good five minutes or so, because that's what I did and I realised that I was definitely you know, the lighter version of what I initially thought I was going to go for a darker shade, but it just dried a lot darker than I was expecting. I just absolutely love the finish of this foundation. I've used it maybe five times or so. It lasts all day. Like, by the end of the night, like, it's worn, worn off a little bit around my nose and places like that that I often, you know, kind of 
touch with my hands or whatever but it leaves a really good finish for like most of the day I would say at least five or six hours this is probably my first luxury kind of foundation I've ever owned because I usually like I have high-end stuff which I would call like Irma Decay and MAC but products like YSL definitely luxury for me like so pricey and I did get this on sale I got it for like $45 which is so cheap because um, Revlon foundation is $45 so I got it for the same price as a Revlon foundation. It was a sale by the way. I don't think I'll ever be purchasing this one again full price, which would be sucky. I'm just gonna brighten up under my eyes a little bit more by using a salmon toned concealer. I'm using my Dermablend cover cream. I'm just gonna put a little bit more of that underneath my eyes. I'm gonna use my MAC Studio Fix powder. Let's hit pan. This is in C3, so it's a little bit darker, so hopefully it'll blend out. A bit better make everything look a bit more flawless. I don't know if you can see that, but even after I set it with a powder, like a matte kind of powder, it still looks really glowy and like skin-like. It doesn't look caked up, it doesn't look too matte, it doesn't look too shiny. It's just like a really good finish. I'm going to share with you my tips. When your face is too pale for your body, like your foundation colour, like maybe you've just tanned, maybe you're going into summer and your foundation is just a little bit too light and you don't want to go out and buy a new foundation yet, you can take your bronzer and the way to look bronze without looking like orange face, like without putting bronzer all over, is literally to go all around the outsides and leave the middle bare and then just put a little bit over your nose and it'll look very natural and sun-kissed. So I'm going to put it in the usual places, like in the hollows of my cheeks and then bring it underneath like underneath your ear and underneath your jawline and then just bring it on top of kind of like where your chin is so you want to go literally like on your face on your jawline do lots of circular motions make sure you blend it really really well you don't want any harsh lines or anything like that or any like real dark spots. You just want it to look very, very blended and natural. And then of course onto your forehead. And then instead of stopping on the temples, bring it up just into your hairline. Okay, and then take your same bronzer. I'm taking a fan brush. You can use any brush that you find easiest to contour with and I'm just going to contour and this is just going to help everything come together even more because you'll have even more depth to your face onto my nose so just down the sides and that will help everything blend in okay so that is the face done and we can put on some blush later brow strip showing sorry um, we can put on some blush and highlighter and everything later but I'm just going to show you how to do the eyes now. So make sure to do your eyebrows. I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyebrow kit which is my favourite. I love e.l.f. as a brand. It's so cheap and really good. So they get the thumbs up from me. Well most of their products do. Some of their stuff's a bit dodgy but honestly so much of it for like the price you pay. Even in New Zealand it costs like 10 times the amount but I mean it's still like 10 bucks whatever. Like New Zealand... 13 15 dollars depending what it is it's still worth it and it's still cheap i really like their studio line their brushes and their blushes their bronzers their eyebrow powders their eyeliners their eyeshadows some of the eyeshadows are really really good but this is my favorite elf product of all gosh the lighting in here is so bad i hate winter well it's autumn still i think i don't know I hate it so much okay so since it's winter and you know this is why this is like my everyday eye I like to have my eyebrows just a little bit more intense so I'll just put a little bit more product on them than normal I don't go up a shade I literally just put on more product um, okay so I'm gonna start off with my Mac paint pot this is an eclair um, and usually I would use my Maybelline bed to the bronze but I just want to use this because it's fairly new and I've only used it like twice so I'm trying to justify the cost of it to myself because I love the bed to the bronze so just go for the bed to the bronze honestly this is so unnecessary i just feel like i have to use it so that i actually get my money's worth <laughs> okay i'm just putting this all over the lid i'll zoom you in in a second i always forget ah. 
This is Coppering by MAC and it's a Velux Pearl eyeshadow. I'm going to take this on a blending brush and basically just dip into the product and then sweep it all across the lid and then bring it, whatever's on the brush, like afterwards, just bring that into the crease. This is such a simple look. Like, so many people are going to be like, Shannon, why don't you do something more interesting? <laughs> Okay, so that's what that colour looks like. Now this could look amazing on any eye colour, especially blue eyes. And I'm just going to keep layering it until I get the intensity that I'd really like. Yeah, this colour by Milani is really, really nice. This is called Desert Sun, and it's kind of like a bronzy gold colour. I'm going to use a little bit of that. I'm just going to bring this kind of into the outer corner just to add a bit more dimension so this is just going to add some gold in there one of my favorite eyeliners at the moment is this Australis one their basic black eyeliner it's so pigmented watch this you can see for yourself boom and then I like to just kind of smudge it into my lashes so literally just like keep building it up And then just put a bit on top of your waterline, I mean tight line, whatever you want to call it. I don't normally use this, but I want to use it because I haven't used it before. This is my Stila Sparkle Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It's the black one. Um, I don't know what it's called. Okay, anyway, I'm going to use this. So it's actually glittery. Um, I would usually just use a regular black eyeliner. I just want to try this out. So we'll see what it looks like. Hopefully it doesn't look like crap. Okay, so now um, that's on, I think I would have rather had a black eyeliner, but this is really pretty. It's just not quite right for this look, but that's okay. I'm taking Wispy Lashes. These are the Cherry Blossom Wispies. Um, I do prefer Ardell Wispies, etc, etc. These ones are probably not as good quality, um, just in the way they're cut, but they're still beautiful. So I still do like them. I just prefer the others. Just my Great Lash. This is actually one of my favourite mascaras, believe it or not. Um, I've been using it again recently. It's the one that is, what's it called? Lots of lashes and it's got the funny little wand, but it's so black and it gets right in there and gives me lots of volume. So I really like it. Of course, someone starts mowing their lawns. <laughs> okay, so I've got my glue here. I'm just using Duo Lash Adhesive and I'm just going to apply the lashes. And I am going to be doing a um, video all about lashes real soon. Like I've already done how to do false lashes in the past, but I'm going to do another video on how I apply my false eyelashes. I'm going to make it a little bit different and put in like all of my favorite eyelashes, like styles and brands and all that, just so you guys know which ones I recommend. I thought that would help and then it'll make it a little bit different to my other video that I already have done. Um, but yeah, people just don't watch it because it's really old and I don't blame you because, yeah, my videos were not good back then. And then just put it on. This lash isn't cooperating. Ah. Okay, so at the moment the glue looks pretty terrible but um, we're going to let that dry because they are being really, really stubborn. Um, let them dry a bit and then stick them down further once the glue is really 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 tacky so I'm going to do the rest of my face and show you what kind of blush I would use with this look this blush may scare you guys I found this blush through Lauren Beauty my dear friend here on YouTube she used this blush one time while showed in a haul or something this is NYX terracotta really beautiful terracotta color like really nicey bronze color but it's a little bit pink toned so I'm taking a little bit of that and then I'm just going to buff that onto my cheeks. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it so it does act as a highlighter also. So I'm not going to be applying additional highlighter but I like to put that all over and then once I've got that on I'll go back in. Something like this just a little bit of a more pink tone. This is Rose Garden by NYX. Just take a really small amount and then just kind of buff that on top just to add a little bit more dimension. I love mixing blushes. It seems like a stupid thing to do but honestly um, when you do do it that adds so much more dimension to your face, so it looks a lot more natural. You wouldn't think it does, but it really does. I learned that one off Nicole Guerrero. I'm like her biggest fangirl, honestly. Okay, and then lips. 
I like to keep it really simple. I like to go with light pinky nudes because I don't like doing anything too dramatic with a, you know, eye look like this because it is very dark and sultry. I just don't like going anything too bright. I don't like going with anything too dark. Just really nice and neutral, peachy toned kind of colors. I was just digging through my drawer to try and find the like perfect color. And I found that this color here, if you were one of my very first subscribers on YouTube, and I'm talking like first 100 kind of subscribers, I used to use this all the time. This is NYX Orange Soda. Um, I was obsessed with this. I just want to try it on just for a bit of nostalgia. Is that the word? I don't know. It looks okay, but nah, it needs to be a little bit more pink just to accommodate the red tones. So I'm going to go in with Pure Nude, NYX Round Lipstick. And then I'm just going to go with my Model Co. Strip Tease Lip Gloss. I was going to call this a blush. Mm. And that is what the look looks like. So that is basically my current everyday look. Um, I would go over, actually I'm going to, I'm going to go over the lash line with an eyeliner just to cover up the glue marks. Oh, I almost forgot to put mascara on my bottom lashes. And that is the finished look. So, um, I'll zoom you in on the eye look. Hopefully that's in focus. That's what the eye looks like. Very simple. I hope that this chit chat helped you guys out in some way. Um, if you do try out this look, please tag me in your photos, like on Instagram or Twitter. Just hashtag ShanXO. Um, so I can check out your look and maybe repost it or share it with everyone else. Have a really good day and I'll talk to you in two more days. Bye.